Welcome to the World Herald News for the 21st of April 2024. Holy Spirit, show us what we need to hear in spiritual news today. My face is feeling numb again like it did in that reading about the plastic surgeon. So somebody could be going under the knife or they have already. Yes, exactly. Ace of Swords going under the knife. Five of Pentacles. Oh my God. Somebody could have passed away at the hands of this doctor already. I was warning somebody not to accept. So, this man paid a group of witches to do spell work for him, possibly a death spell, and he's trying to get rid of them one by one. So there aren't any witnesses to the fact that he wanted to take somebody's life, possibly. Or these women failed him, that's also possible. One of these women could be a Pisces, another one could be a Virgo. The 9th of December is in Sagittarius season, somebody could be a Sagittarius. The 12th of September is in Virgo season, so there's definitely a Virgo involved. Somebody has very low self-esteem. That's what I'm getting from this hermit card right now. And this woman might pay with her life or she already paid with her life for this. This man knows how to target women with low self-esteem. He chose these witches specifically because they had low self-esteem and he could tell. If this is a surgeon, he knows all women's weaknesses and he exploited them to the maximum. And now he's getting rid of them. And all of a sudden I feel like my feet are numb too, which is very strange. She's in the cold here. She's turning cold. This woman could have recently died and her body is turning colder and colder. She could have been left somewhere. She could have been dumped somewhere. Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles. There's a whole group celebrating. There could have been a lot of alcohol and somebody could have walked out into the woods somewhere and fallen in the cold. This woman could even be eaten by animals. This woman's body could be eaten by animals and I can't speak. So again, this woman was numbed by something. This man could also be using anesthetics, putting them in people's drinks. They're putting some drugs, or he's putting some drugs. There could be multiple men in this situation, or this man works with multiple people. He put something extra in somebody's drink. That's what I'm getting here. The fool and the king of swords and the devil. There could be three different men. Could be an Aries, could be an air sign and a Capricorn, or this doctor, this man has these elements in their chart right he's a doctor but actually he's a child and actually he took multiple people out this could also be a plastic surgeon look at the masks here he could have promised four different witches i've got four masks i can see here he could have asked four different witches to do something for him in exchange for surgery he may not have paid them anything and he could have taken them out during surgery or that's what he plans to do. But one of these women could be gone already and this woman could be a Pisces or a Virgo or she has Pisces and Virgo in her chart. The 15th of January could be significant. The 1st of May. This devil almost fell off. There could be something wrong with this man too. 
This man could be feeling suicidal, or one of these men is two of cups. Two of them could be. There could be two people who feel suicidal. Could be a couple. Nine of swords. Somebody's losing it. There are two people losing it because of this situation. Six of pentacles. One man is paying the two other men. If these are free men, this could be the guy in charge and he's paying these two other men. So this guy could have his own surgery and these are the employees. This is a plastic surgery. They change people's faces, mask, masks, mask, all the masks clarifying each other. So yes, this is a plastic surgery. And there's a man who could be an air sign in charge of this group. The other men could be an Aries and a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. 20, judgment. Yesterday was the 20th. This woman, whose energy I'm picking up on right now, she could have passed away yesterday. They could have sacrificed this woman. Burn the witch. So these doctors who are paying witches to do spell work for them are now getting rid of the witches. They're burning the witches. The Hierophant. Somebody does changes to people's skulls. The moon, the 18th of May. Somebody could be planning something for the 18th of May. One of these women who have been working for these men, for these doctors, could be scheduled to have surgery on the 18th of May. If there's anyone watching this reading who has surgery, especially plastic surgery scheduled for the 18th of May, run like hell, even if they are saying it's for free because these men want to sacrifice this woman. This could be a Pisces. The doctor could be a Taurus. Doesn't have to be. Somebody could have Pisces and Taurus in their chart. Somebody could have this as their birthday, possibly. The 18th of May could also be somebody's birthday. But I feel like somebody's scheduled for an operation for the 18th of May. Two of Swords reversed. King of Pentacles. So the doctor is being unmasked. And again, this is a plastic surgeon. Look at the blood on top of the mask. He's a plastic surgeon. He could be, he could be a dentist too possibly, but I feel like we have some women with low self-esteem who want to look prettier. These women want to lose weight. They want to look younger. They want to show off their bodies. So these doctors were looking for cloud chasing witches so they can offer this kind of service in exchange for their service possibly. Yes, it fits perfectly. The plastic surgeons versus the cloud chasing witches. So these men could have been hunting for these women online, getting them to do witchcraft for free. Yes, exactly. Ace of Cups. They could have also been romancing these women, promising some kind of relationship. So these men started flirting with the witches online and then tried to get these witches to do some kind of voodoo possibly, some kind of moon magic. Ten of Pentacles, and because these men are very wealthy, these women couldn't wait to deal with them. Two of Pentacles, the 2nd of October, one or more of these men could have lost their spiritual gifts. Like I said before, it could be on the 2nd of October. And that's why they had to look for cloud-chasing witches to do their work for them. 
Also, it could go the other way around. Some of the cloud-chasing witches could have lost their gifts because of dealing with these men, because of doing low vibrational work for these men. They could also have spiritual gifts, but they don't want to lose theirs. So they were using these women, possibly. But I feel like one or more of these men also lo hmm. also lost. This could be a future thing, too. They're about to lose. Somebody could be a lot allowed. These men are trying to put words in my mouth. <sighs> Eight of Wands, yes. Somebody's channeling words to me. These men are trying to control my mind. And they could have done the same to these women. These women could be under mind control. Four of Swords. Somebody is throwing death magic at another person. They want to see somebody turn into a ghost, yes. The 14th of April. They could have done something on the 14th of April. They could have done a death spell on the 14th of April. Somebody could have actually passed away. And it could be one of the cloud chasing witches. Three of swords, yes, somebody's heart stopped. Somebody's gone already, free free. There's a whole group of witches here and one or more of them could have passed away already. 39, somebody could be 39, they could be a water sign. Three of pentacles. Again, the number three is very significant. It could be that three women were working with these men or three women have already passed away at the hands of these men or at their own hands because their spell work could have backfired. Seven of Cups. There could be more, more, more than three women here. Again, there's a man or there are men who are trying to put words in my mouth, literally, right now. Well, it can't be literal, can it? The Tower, 16. And the Four of Wands, the 16th of April. Something could have happened on the 16th of April, the 14th of April. These men could be getting rid of these witches very quickly or they're getting rid of themselves from backfires. There's a whole coven falling apart here. Queen of Swords. These women are falling like flies. That's what I'm getting. Nine of Wands. Yes, they're getting hit by spell work. Multiple women getting hit by spell work. And again, it could be their own backfiring. Or these men are trying to get rid of them. One by one. Seven of Cups. Like I said, there are many women involved in this. Five of Wands. All these women were waging spiritual warfare on someone. For these men. The Wheel of Fortune. The Seven of Pentacles. These men were watching somebody. All these men could be connected or these could be three different categories of men doing something similar. Getting multiple women to gang stalk another. Seven of Wands. Yes, gang stalking. Five of Wands, Seven of Wands. Multiple people attacking one person. 57 could be significant. May and July could be significant. 45 could also be significant. So these men could be different ages. Nine of Pentacles. These are doctors. So these are multiple doctors specifically. There's a whole collective of doctors who have been working with cloud chasing witches. Apparently that's a thing here. <laughs> Two of Wands, and they're watching. Yes, they're watching Tarot. The good doctors are watching Tarot and finding the biggest cloud chaser of them all. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the biggest cloud chaser of them all? Well, apparently they found them. It's not that hard. Eight of Pentacles. The Emperor. Look at the Emperor watching. 
strength. The 11th of April could be significant. So with the Six of Wands and the Leo energy here, yes, cloud chasing witches who want attention and like to show off their cleavage. The doctor is looking at the cleavage thinking that needs to be fixed. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah. So these women don't even know how to arrange their flabby tits in their bra. And the doctor saw that. And they realized that these women want to attract men with their cleavage. But not if it looks like that. So they were banking on the fact that these women have very low self-esteem but want a lot of attention. So these women are the perfect victims and the perfect puppets. Ten of swords to betray someone, to hurt someone, to take somebody out. These men know that these women are ready to kill for popularity. They know who they're working with. The star reversed. That's who they're working with. Ten of Wands. Somebody could be losing their looks. And if they lose their looks, they will be losing their stardom. So these men have promised surgery to these women to make them look younger and prettier again. That's what it is. Knight of Wands. A lot of blood. There you go. The world. So these women will be losing their lives by risking them at the hands of these men who promised plastic surgery. These men are also trying to cover their tracks by getting rid of these women. The 21st of April is today. One of these women could be going under the knife today. Under the knife today. 21st of April. This could be a water sign, doesn't have to be. Could be a Gemini, the number six could be significant. One of these men, one of these doctors could be sleeping with this woman. The cross is here. The doctor who sleeps with this woman who needs some fixing there, he's about to take her out and this could be happening today. Who's this message for please? Let's clarify again. Who's this message for? The magician. So this is an Aries, a Gemini or a Virgo. This is also Gemini. The lovers is Gemini. This woman could be a Gemini or she has Gemini in her chart. The number one could be significant too. Four of Cups, King of Cups. So again, this woman has some kind of romantic relationship with one of these doctors. And he's about to give her this operation that she won't wake up from. Eight of Swords. Knight of Cups, could be a water sign too, or they have water in their chart. They want to look young again. They want to look like pages again. This woman wants to look very young. The Queen of Pentacles, this could be a mother. This could be an earth sign. Six of Wands, she wants to be popular. So even though she has children, she could be an older woman. She wants to be popular. She wants to be seen. She wants to show off her body. Five of Swords. She wants to win at all cost with the Six of Wands and the Five of Swords. So this is a very narcissistic woman who wants attention. And she's about to die for it. And this could be happening today, possibly. Or they're discussing this today. 
they could be planning it for later. I'm trying to warn these women. Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. These women have been promised the Ten of Cups with these men. Or at least one of them has been promised this from a doctor or a man who can afford to pay for her doctor. Knight of Swords. Yes. Gemini again. Lots of Gemini energy. Somebody could be a Gemini or they have a lot of Gemini in their chart. Could be an earth sign too. And then we've got the doctor. So this, yeah, it could be a Taurus with Gemini in their chart. Could be the Taurus Gemini cusp I was talking about again. And then there's the good doctor who's romancing her. Death. Dr. Death. Dr. Death. Mm-hmm. He could be a Scorpio. He has Scorpio in his chart. The 13th of May. Maybe they're planning on having this operation on the 13th of May. This woman will pass away and she will be grieved if she accepts this. Going under the knife. This is very frightening. Somebody really needs to take this seriously, but they won't and they will die. Queen of Cups, yeah. Four of Cups, 45 or 54 could be significant. King of Wands, the main character. So there's a female who wants to be the main character. He wants, I, oh my God. There could be a man, okay, so there could be a man who went under the knife too. He wants to be the fairest of them all too, I guess. So there could be some men here who are supposed to be operated on. Also, this woman's lover could have had plastic surgery himself or he's planning to. That's another thing I'm getting, whether he's the doctor or not. But yes, somebody wants to be the fairest of them all, male or female, and they're willing to risk their lives for it. Okay. Somebody really needs to take care, pay attention who is about to give this uh, surgery to them. Maybe it's better to pay for it and go somewhere else than have it for free in this circumstance. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody needs to slow down and think about this. Page of Wands, somebody who really wants to be pretty. They're in a hurry to the grave. They need to slow down and think about this. Four of Swords, because somebody's going to be leaving this world with the Four of Swords. King of Swords is a psycho. This is the doctor. The doctor is a psychopath. King of Wands. There could be three doctors, like I said. One's a fire sign, one's an air sign, and one's an earth sign, most likely. Could be a water sign, too. Or the water signs going under the knife. Two of Wands. They're watching. These men are watching. Ten of Wands reversed. Somebody lost their gifts on the 2nd of October. It could be multiple people. Could be some of these witches, could be some of these doctors. They all have spiritual abilities though. Lots of fire here. There's a fire sign who's not doing very well. Seven of Cups, the devil. The 15th of July could be significant cancer season. Capricorn could be significant. The 15th of March, Pisces season. There's some kind of obsession here. People are obsessed with fame, with beauty, with youth. They could be obsessed with other people too. The Hermit, number nine. And the main character. With this Hermit card, I'm picking this up as somebody who has low self-esteem right now. 
She wants to be the fairest of them all, but she doesn't feel that pretty. These could be multiple women. There could also be somebody who's obsessing over a woman who they deem as the main character. And um, this man could be using other women to come at this woman. Five of Pentacles and the Hermit. So these people are trying to isolate somebody and make sure that this person is possibly homeless. They're putting the spirit of rejection on someone because they want this person to have no love, no friends, no money. Free of pentacles. Yes, there's a whole group of people doing this together. All of these people have been promised some kind of plastic surgery, possibly. They could have also been promised a place in a particular cult or coven. Seven of Wands, and all these people are ganging up and attacking one person. Again, the main character is under attack by all these witches who are desperate to gain the attention of these doctors or whoever these men are. Six of Wands, yes, because they need attention. They need to be the first and the best until the end my friend